David Levesque Street. is a new local Gainesville musician, a part-time graphic design student, and a bus driver. He was born in the Middle East while his parents served as American missionaries in Oman. David attributes most of his musical influences to his parents and to his childhood obsession with Disney movies. I usually think of things like in sec sections instead of like chorus, verse, um, just like the traditional way of songwriting. Because it never really kind of, it never, I, I never really like, it's not natural for me to write songs like that. And I, I, I used to listen to a lot of classical music, so um, they have movements instead of like. So it's, it's more about finding different sections that, and then finding the transitions between the sections. I just play by feeling, so it's, it's more of me just messing around, like just figuring out different shapes. I think of like the tuning that I had, or the chord structure in my head, and just kind of like mash the tune in my head while I'm like driving. Uh, I ride it on the bus, like on the little side panel there. Harmony is definitely one, of, like, if not the my favorite thing about music. It's it's more about just kind of listening to what sounds and feels right for harmonies. So I've always like really loved like bands like the Beach Boys and just their. Harmonies are amazing. I had never really sat down and like recorded a song ever. Just GarageBand made it so easy for me to just like spill everything out. I'm all about layering a lot in GarageBand, so I'll just record with this microphone that's in the little speaker right here. My older stuff was recorded um, at my parents' house. My newer stuff, I'm, I've been recently recording um, in, in this room, this small 6 by 11 room. That's why a lot of the songs are kind of like really acoustic-y with like one drum because I can only fit one drum in here at, at a time. I got this ukulele probably like two years ago from, from an old ex-girlfriend. Um, and it's, it was like so nice, but I, I, I mean, I didn't play it for like a year and a half. And then I just started playing it and it's like, it's like my best friend now. I mean, I, I use it in, in a bunch of songs. Guitars, uh, my dad taught me guitar. A lot of times I'll use like breathing as like almost like a, as like a percussive instrument. Uh -huh. There's also like the household items that I use. I use a lot of pots and pans and pieces of wood snapping together and like stuff like that to imitate instruments I don't have pretty much. Like I'm, I'm working with what I got, <laughs> so, and I don't have very much. I grew up overseas, so um, all we had was like a bunch of Disney VHS tapes. The music kind of reflects my childhood. When, when people are listening to my music, I, I kind of really want them to feel like they're in a place. Feel that kind of Mickey Mouse tribal sound that I'm going for.
could wait patiently with this chain round my neck to the bottom of the sea. I'm your little seahorse and you're my little finch, singing through the water and I'm listening in. You know that I could wait patiently with this chain round my neck to the bottom of the sea. I, I, I. Translating the show has been like ridiculously refreshing, like not not difficult in any way. Working with the backup band that I have now has been awesome just because they're so talented and they've just picked things up quickly and they're a lot of them are like they they know their stuff like way more than me. <laughs> And like so, they'll just like pick it up like wiggity split like no problem. Um, so it's actually been like really refreshing. I guess the only problem I have is like scheduling conflicts with everybody. First, to listen to all the songs a lot. I think got on my headphones and I was like riding around school. But every time I'd be going anywhere and listening to them because there's so much going on. Couldn't do all of it, you know. So I try to listen to the things that sounded the best and they were the most important sounding, and try to recreate those pretty much exactly. There's a few sounds that um, that he actually has in his recording that he gave me that I inputted into that system that I was talking about, where I can you know, put in sounds, and I actually like play those like the actual sounds that are in the recording. so it's like it kind of has like a same kind of timbre and I try to change my voice even like for different harmonies to make it sound like different people just because I don't have access to different people so it's been really really great to see it fleshed out and like people people willing to to sing and it's just I mean I get chills like when I hear harmony the parts that I recorded are simple parts, they're, they're, but they're kind of specific parts, and I'm kind of, I'm really picky when it comes to percussion stuff, just because I'm like, it's, it's what everything is kind of based on. Try, try just like a... Yeah. Yeah. Having faith in these awesome musicians and just like being able to relax because they're making up stuff that is way cooler than what I was doing in the recordings um, and making it just like their own and making the live experience much more interesting than it would have been like just me like looping you know for 30 minutes <laughs> It was really well composed. Uh, practice seemed like it happened a lot. Everything was very tight. Compared to live show, um, live drums made a big difference. Um, the listening in the song, um, the ending is so much more like loud. Like this, the live drums is a lot more uh, live bandy than the recordings, which are all kind of digital. But it's been easy because he's uh, very cheerful. And he's, um, he's, he knows what he wants with the music, and he just likes, if you don't play what he wants and you play something different, he'll like it, and he'll rather you do that even. I like how he does it all himself, he records it all himself, I really enjoy that, because that's what I've always done too, and I just like, it's really specific to his like character, you know, his, per his personality, I can like really feel him in the music, and I like him as a person, so I like to hear that. Said, put on your seatbelt now, boy, put on your seatbelt now. There's dangerous men outside these doors. Close your eyes and hear. 